So here's part two to the pipeline picking video. If you haven't seen the first one, please go check that out as it'll put some things in context. So right here is where the pipeline comes out of the ground and works its way into the facility. So the pig comes through the facility, through this piping up and over and into the receiver. And as you can see here, it looks very similar to the sender. And since I have you all here, let's talk about receiving the pig. So much like sending the pig, there's a bypass. So we're gonna open this bypass line and then I'm gonna shut these two valves here to isolate in the pig barrel. And through the magic of TikTok, we're isolated. So at this point, I've sent the pig, uh, the fluid, oil, gas, water, push the pig into this receiver here. So it's already in the barrel and just needs to be pulled out. So the procedure for receiving the pig is very much similar to sending it. You know, you gotta basically depressure the barrel, open it up, etc. The main difference on this one is it's not sitting at a 45 and the drain is on the bottom. So we're gonna have some fluid coming out. So I'm gonna hook up this hose. Sweet. So with our hose hooked up, I'm gonna blow it down to that tote there just to catch all the free liquid coming out. Now that all the pressure is bled down to that tote, I'm gonna open up the cap. So this is the key difference here between the sender and the receiver. The receiver has this built-in cage. There it goes. So this cage here prevents that pig from going further into my facility. It stops it right here, so that way we can pull it out. So now that I got the pig pulled out, I'm checking it for any waxy returns. It looks clean, so I know the inside of my pipeline's in good shape. And I'd just like to thank everyone for the positive feedback on my content. It is greatly appreciated. I'm glad that I'm educating some people and this information is helpful. But if you'd like to know more, don't be afraid to ask a question, throw a comment down and follow for more. Thank you very much, everyone.